Good morning, dogs. Kindness Week, Heroes of Hope, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week, the Clinton County Fairground will be hosting an event called Heroes of Hope. They will be giving out free products and services such as family products, haircuts, health screenings, and more. The event will be on Saturday, May 6th at 9 a.m. Attention FHS students! All students are invited to participate in the summer marching band show, The Music of Seeing 2. If you are interested, practices start on Monday, May 8th from 6 to 7.30 and Thursday, May 11th from 4 to 5.30. Now, we'll send it to Mr. Hutton with more information. Hey, are you interested in spinning a flag or a rifle with the Summer Marching Band Show? Well, I've got some news for you. Let me introduce you to one of our Color Guard members to tell you more about it. Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine, and if you're interested, there will be tryouts next Monday from 6 to 7.30, and if you have any questions, you can see Mr. Hine in the band room. Yeah, tryouts will be in the band room and come in door 18. Six o'clock on Monday. See you there. What up, dogs? Last night, the varsity baseball team fell to Tri West 3 to 2. Oscar Lopez in relief, tossing two and two thirds in scoreless innings. The dogs are back in action on the road against Western and Peru in a doubleheader this Saturday. The games begin at 12 30. Also, last night, the Lady Hot Dogs tennis team faced off against the Delphi Oracles, where they ended up. 1-4 as a team. For singles, Libby Pierce got a commanding 6-1 and 6-2 win. And the Walters continue to improve, losing 1-6 and 4-6. Giselle Figueroa won 8-6 on the JV side. The doubles team struggles, but are still working to improve. The Lady Dogs are back in action Monday, traveling to Danville in a conference matchup. In golf news, Harrison Kiger's season best of 46 led the Dogs in a three-way match with Danville and host Lemon. Completing the scoring for the dogs, Jackson Ray 49, Xavier McIntosh 52, Alex Taylor 55, also competing, competing Edwin Wayne Scott 55, and Luke Beersley with the 57. Team scorers were Danville with 185, Lebanon 189, and Frankfurt season low nine hole score of 202. Frankfurt will compete against Clinton Central at the Commons May 11th at 430. That's all for sports guys. Make sure you guys have a terrific Thursday. Now to your terrific weatherman. Thank you, Nellie. Walking into school today, we experienced temperatures in the high 30s and the low 40s. Once again, still too cold of a morning for me. Today's weather will reach a warm 69 degrees at around 5 to 6 p.m., with the low dropping into the 50s as the night comes to an end. Clear skies are to be expected throughout the rest of the day, so do not waste the day inside. And in sending us into the weekend, we are expected to have a high of 73 degrees at around 4 to 5 p.m., while being partly cloudy throughout the day. As the night falls, Temperatures will drop somewhere around the high 50s and low 60s. Let's hope the weather sticks around for the rest of spring as we begin transitioning towards summer. That's all for today's weather report. Now, I will send it back to your amazing hosts. As most of you know, this week is Kindness Week. Here's Mr. McCauley with more information. Good morning, Frankfurt High School. Uh, this is Mr. McCauley here, and I wanted to stop by to talk about the Kindness Week that we've been celebrating here during this week. Um, Kindness Week is a national event that actually takes place at many schools and different workplaces across the country. And I've been using a lot of the inspiration that I've found from a website called randomactsofkindness.org. So please continue to check that out if you are interested in more ideas. Um, during Kindness Week, I've been sending a daily email every morning with ideas on how to show kindness and why kindness is important. You've also probably seen these orange cards being passed out um, by teachers and staff here at Frankfurt High School. These Caught Being Kind cards are ways for teachers to acknowledge students' kindness that can then be entered into a prize drawing um, in the guidance office. So if you receive one of these Caught Being Kind cards, um, please return that with your name on it to the guidance office. We've been doing small daily prize drawings at the end of each day for chips and candy. And then of course the grand prize drawing at the end of this week will be for a brand new PlayStation 5, a digital edition. Um, and it was not easy to get my hands on this. I did not realize that Walmart does not just have these on the shelves anymore. So I've not gamed in a long time. but. We were able to get one shipped out to us, so we are very much looking forward to giving this away to a deserving student who has demonstrated kindness. 
Um, as of right now, we've had over 150 kindness cards being turned in, so please continue to get those in. They can be turned in through the end of the day tomorrow, Friday. Um, and we just want to make sure that we're recognizing students who are being kind and trying to promote kindness as much as possible here at Frankfurt High School. So again, thank you to the teachers, thank you to the school staff, and thank you to students who are all taking part in the Kindness Week 2023. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2 will be country fried steak, and lines 3 and 4 will be Nashville hot chicken. A special happy birthday goes out to Lisbeth Velasquez. That's all for today's announcements. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day.